All right, so here we have another position versus time graph, and we're trying to find the velocities of the object. So anytime the line changes slope, the object has changed its velocity. So we have three regions where the velocity is different. This first region from 0 seconds to 50 seconds, from 50 seconds to 150, and from 150 to 250. So to find the velocity, we just want to find the slope over those periods. So again, you want to find points that lie along the line that are easy to determine, which we've, I've kind of already marked off. So in this first region, we have this point here at the beginning and this point down here at 50 seconds. So we want to find the slope of this line. So the rise is, goes from 300 to 100, so it's a change of negative 200. And from 0 to 50, it's a change of 50 seconds. So it's negative 200 over 50 or negative 4 meters per second. So in this region here, the object has a velocity of negative 4 meters per second. In this next region, from here to here, I don't even really have to do it, the rise, it doesn't go up at all. So the rise is 0, the run is 100, but that ends up being a velocity of 0 meters per second, which we know because the slope is flat. So I've got negative 4 for the first region, 0 for this region, and now the last region, okay, the rise is from 100 to 150, so that's a change of 50 meters per second, 50 meters rather, and the run is from 150 to 250, so that's 100 seconds, so the slope is 50 meters over 100 seconds, or 0.5 meters per second. So those are the three velocities over each region. And it says, where is it moving the fastest? So you might say, well, the biggest number is 0.5, because 0.5 is bigger than negative 4, like as far as numbers go. But as far as what's moving the fastest, remember, fastest has nothing to do with the sign. It's the magnitude. So it's actually moving the fastest in this region where it's going 4 meters per second. It's going 4 meters per second to the left, but that is still faster than 0.5 meters per second to the right. So that's how we determine where it's fastest. One other note about finding the velocities, uh, some people make the mistake of just counting the boxes. In other words, saying, okay, this goes down one, two, three, four boxes and over one box. Um, sometimes that works out if the scales are the same, but it doesn't always. You can't count on it. So always make sure you're looking at the actual numbers on the axes and not just the boxes. In this situation, the axes, these are 50 here and they're 50 here, so it will work in this particular scenario, but you can't count on it always working. Like there could be lines every 25 seconds and all of a sudden you have more boxes. That's not going to change your slope. So just be careful with that. So until next time, I am Derek Genova. Have a delightful day.